Ben! Ben! I need you to listen to this! What do you need? Is it really that urgent? I'm on the train right now, can this wait? No. Healy was only able to get 70 on her test again! 70? That isn't even that bad of a score at all. You're going too easy on her. Bella came home with a hundred on the exact same test. I can't believe this. How is one so much smarter than the other when they're literally identical twins? It doesn't make any sense. I wish we'd only had Bella instead of twins. You're always so harsh on Haley. Give her a break. How do you think she feels being compared to her twin like that? I'm sure Haley's trying her best, too. That's what matters. No matter how hard she works, she'll get nowhere. Bella, who doesn't even have to try to be better, obviously deserves to be the favorite child. And I see nothing wrong in that. It's only natural. Grades are not the only thing that matters in life, and it certainly doesn't measure who's better than the other. Haley's way better at sports, and that's her strong point. Bella's not as good at sports, but she's amazing with tests. Each one of them has their strong points and weak points. And there's nothing wrong with that. If anything, we as parents should find each child's strong points and help them reach the pinnacle of their abilities to do great things. Are you serious? Being good at sports will not help Bella whatsoever in the future. I don't see her benefiting anyone else either. I truly do not understand how one is so much better than the other, even though they're identical twins. Do you hear yourself? Even though they're identical twins, they're two different human beings. How could you possibly expect them to be clones or something? If so, then it's only natural for us parents to put in twice the effort to the better one. You better shut up before I get angry, Gabriella. Whatever. I wanted to suggest something regarding Bella. Given how academically talented and gifted she is, I was thinking that maybe we should let her attend a famous private high school over in the city. You mean the one in New York? It's three hours away from here. Even if we were to wake up early every day, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work out for even a month. Exactly. So I was thinking... Maybe I could live alone with Bella over at the apartment in New York City. What? You gotta be joking. What are you gonna do with your job? I heard people don't get moved around too much in your company. Yeah, so I've already done what needed to be done. I quit my job this morning, so no need to worry about that. What did you just say? I'm already eyeing an apartment in New York, too. So we already have a place, too. You're getting way ahead of yourself right now. She still hasn't even gotten to the entrance exam of that place. With her level of intelligence, I'm pretty sure she'll get in with the score ahead of the rest of the kids by a mile. Oh, and by the way, it's pretty obvious, but I'm going to need you to pay for her tuition, so please prepare the money for that. My retirement money and savings will all go to our utilities and other fees that we'll be needing when we finish moving over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How is Bella feeling about this anyway? Have you bothered to ask her? I'll be sure to ask her later on myself, too. But are you sure you're not just pushing your feelings against her and pressuring her to say yes to this whole thing? Of course, I've asked her. And no, I'm not pressuring her. She told me that there's classes that specify in what she wants to do in the future. So she'd love to take the challenge. Whatever you say. I mean, if Bella feels that way herself, then I guess there's no reason to stop her. Decision made, then. Oh, and also... Make sure that Haley ends up going to a public school no matter what she says. What? Let's do ABC High School, the one that's close to our house. It's a dumb public school anyways. I'm sure they'd even accept a dull girl like her. Are you hearing yourself right now? What? Haley told us about how she wants to attend the private school over in the city next door. She already got offered a scholarship as a track player in that high school. Oh, about that. I'm planning to make her resign from the offer. Why the hell would you do that? It's a great school, and she has a full ride, so it won't cost us any tuition to let her go there. 
but we don't want to be spending any extra fees that she needs for traveling all the way over there by train and bus, honey. It's only like a hundred dollars a month! We can afford that! Even one hundred dollars a month is one thousand two hundred dollars in a year. It adds up. We need that money to provide a better learning environment for Bella. We're doing the other one a big favor by letting her even go to a school. I'm going to let Haley choose her own life. This decision is final. What? You can't just decide that on your own. She's both our children. Whether she wants to go to a public school or a private school or a school that costs a lot to get into, she's going to get to go wherever she wants. We're putting her own feelings first. That's our job as parents. I can't believe you. Do you not care about Bella? I care about both Bella and Haley more than anything else in the world. And I have no intention of cherishing or prioritizing any of the two more than the other. Whatever. I guess you and I have some fundamental differences in our way of thinking. You know what? I want a divorce. Right now. What the hell? Of course, I get to keep Bella. I only need the gifted one. No one cares about the mediocre, untalented one. And if you want to act so heroic, and as if you really care about the other one so much, then fine. You keep yours and I keep mine. You can act as if her stupid self is adorable and cute. I don't need any of those unnecessary distractions. You two take good care. Gabriella, are you serious? My precious Bella and I will be moving over to New York as soon as she graduates middle school. I need you to sign the divorce letter by then. There's no going back after we make that decision. Are you sure? Of course I am. Can you swear on your life that you've thought about Bella's future and believe that this is really the right choice? Yes. There's no other choice that's better for her. Really? I've made up my mind, period. Oh, and I'll need your help pay for Bella's parenting expenses. Be prepared for that. We'll talk this through again once I come back from my business trip. Then we'll finalize the decision. Fine. Dad? Oh, hey, Haley. What are you doing up so late? You need to get to bed, honey. I'm so sorry. What? You're getting divorced with mom because of me, aren't you? Did you hear that from your mother? <laughs> yes. She said it was all because I wasn't born as smart as Bella. I am so sorry. Don't apologize, honey. None of that is true. It's true that Bella has better grades than you as of now. But I've always told you, this world isn't all about how smart you are, how good you are at tests. Yeah, Bella told that to me too, but... The reason your mother and I are getting divorced is because our values are too different for us to stay together. And that's all there is to it. It's no one's fault, honey. If anyone, we should be apologizing to both you and Bella for bringing into our personal issues like this. Even though you two are acknowledging and respecting each other for each of your talents and who you are, I can't believe we're going to have to rip you two apart like this. I'm so sorry, honey. It isn't your fault, Dad. And if anything, I want to thank you. It's true that Bella wants to go to a high school in New York to pursue her dreams. And the only reason I get to go to the school I wanted to go with a scholarship that I earned was because you stopped Mom from forcing me to go to a public school. But if all of that's true, I just can't get over the fact that each of us going to our dream schools to pursue our dreams is one of the reasons why you two had to end up getting a divorce. Don't think of it that way, honey. I'll continue to provide for both you and your sister, and our connection as father and daughter will always be the same. All I want you two to worry about is what you need to do in order to achieve what you want to achieve. All I need to do is help you as your father. I'll always be the number one fan for both of you. That really means a lot, Dad. Thank you. Hey, long time no see. Um, it's me, Gabriella. 
I wanted to have a talk with you about our daughter. Do you have a minute? What do you want? Thank goodness. I was hoping you hadn't blocked me already. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Even though we aren't husband and wife, we're still the parents of Bella and Haley. We need a means of contact if there's anything happening to either of them. Now, what do you want? So, Bella and Haley are both seniors right now, and they're almost graduating high school. Yeah, what about that? But the thing is, Bella probably won't be able to graduate this year. What? Did she flunk? Yeah, that. What happened? She quit going to school at the end of her junior year. At the end of her junior year? It's already been almost a year since then! Apparently she couldn't keep up with her studies, and the pressure just made her collapse. Since she was always so smart, she was shocked at how she'd almost failed a test for her first time in her life. Ever since the next day, she just stopped going to school completely. Why did you wait to tell me until it was too late? Because... I don't know. I felt embarrassed. Like I'd lost to you. Embarrassed? I spent all of this time and effort and made all of these sacrifices for her to end up nowhere. How would I not be embarrassed? But rumor says that Haley isn't doing so well either, is she? Uh, apparently, she too is headed towards a poor life as a loser. What are you talking about? I heard she started off with the sports scholarship, but joined the regular students after a while, right? I guess neither of the twins were golden eggs after all, and were both failures as parents, so... Uh, joke's on you! Haley joined the normal class because she injured her foot during the season. What? It happened while she was practicing. And the doctor told us that even if cured completely, it would still be difficult for her to keep running as a player. I thought I had asked your parents to talk to you about this. Did you not get the message? I'm not in touch with my parents at all, so I never heard of this news. So that's what happened to that girl. I didn't know that happened to her. Well, now that the only thing she was good at was taken away from her, I guess she's completely useless to this world. Are you proud of yourself? For raising a useless failure who can't even do something as simple as running? What's wrong with you? I'm guessing she's an outlaw or something now. With nothing better to do with her life. Whatever she is now, I bet it's nothing useful to this world. <laughs> Oh, haven't you heard? Haley got into med school. What? A med school? Yeah, a med school. Uh, <laughs> oh, very funny. There's no way a girl like her could have gotten into med school. She's obviously not smart enough for it. I'm as surprised as you are, but I think it was her mentality that did the job. Her mentality? She was really upset when she first heard that she couldn't run anymore competitively. But the doctor that helped her through her injury had helped her both mentally and physically. Ever since then, she just decided that she wanted to become a doctor and help other people the way the doctor helped her. The way her grades skyrocketed after she joined the regular classes was nothing like I'd ever seen before. So, you're not joking? Even if I were lying to you right now, you'd find out anyways. Uh, that's true. Well then, give me Haley. What the hell? Don't you dare say give you like that. They're human beings. I don't care. The only children that I'll acknowledge as mine are those that are elite. So, give me Haley. Oh, and I don't need Bella anymore. She's proven to be a false hope for me. She's failed me, so you can have her back. You little... Have you learned nothing over the past three years? What do you mean? You treat your own kids, the children who you gave birth to, like your own belongings. Who are you to say anything about that? I'm the one who gave birth to them. So I get to raise them however I want to raise them. You're a hopeless cause. I'll be raising Bella. But I'm not letting you take Haley either. What? That is 
isn't fair! You're being greedy! You've had your turn spending a gracious three years with Haley, our family's elite daughter. Now it's my turn. Let's trade them a month later on the day they graduate from high school. You won't get Haley either way. Why not? Her university is in another state. No matter how hard you try, she won't be able to stay with you in your little apartment in New York. How could she? That's the end of this conversation. It's useless trying to talk to you. Bye. I need you to pick up! This is an emergency! What do you need now? Bella disappeared! I was gone grocery shopping, and when I came back, she was gone! Along with all her other stuff! I made Haley go pick her sister up. What? I heard from Bella that you hadn't been working since you left for New York. You were living off of all the savings you had left, but you still couldn't afford to pay for much longer. So you made Bella work, even though it was forbidden at her school. She was caught right away and got expelled. That's the reason she stopped going to school together, isn't it? I can explain. Haley felt that it was dangerous to keep Bella near you for any longer, so she told me she wanted to go get her. Apparently, the two are going to work hard together over at Haley's new apartment near her university. How could you do that? By the way, I've also been moved to somewhere pretty close to where they're going, so I've already finished moving in. How could you people leave me like this? And if it wasn't obvious enough, no. I'm not telling you where neither I nor the two girls are currently living. What's gonna happen to me then? You can just work and make a living on your own. It isn't that complicated. Wait. All right, see ya. I said wait. After that, I heard Gabriella went back to live with her parents. But apparently, she found their house to be sold already, and her parents had already moved into a daycare center nearby. A new family was living at what used to be her house, and she started yelling, Where are my parents? Which led her to get the police called on for her. Since the rumor spread so quickly on the countryside, she soon became unable to live near her old house. So she left for somewhere else, and no one has seen her since. On the other hand, Bella started going to an online high school from home after being saved by her sister Haley. She says she wants to become an engineer when she grows up, so she's planning on studying that field once she graduates from high school. Even though my two precious daughters were mistreated by their selfish mother, I'm glad they're growing to be bold and wise. As a proud father, I'll continue to give them all my love and support.